Yes. <laughs> it was a battle. Great game. Uh, great win against a team that has played. They've been playing really, really uh, good ball. La Tech's got a fantastic team. Um, I told our team they were the best transition team we've seen so far this year. They really get out and run. Um, you turn it over, they're going to make you pay for it. Wingate, what a phenomenal player Wingate is. Um, their point guard can really shoot it. They play hard. Um, Tyler's got them going, and uh, we knew we had to be ready today. Well, your shooting percentage wasn't great. It seemed like your offense was a lot better than the numbers. Well, I thought we, uh, the second half, once we, I thought we, once we ran the clock and got patient, I felt like we controlled the game more. Um, we kept running it to 15 and then going into something specific to run. And that's probably was our best defense because while we were being patient and having the ball, they weren't scoring points. When the ball's in their hand, they can, they can put up some numbers and they can flat score. So, you know, we were trying to control the tempo and uh, trying to be patient to keep them from getting in their transition game and also for us to be more effective in our, our shooting percentage and getting better shots. You finished the game all of 10 from the field, but you don't turn it over in the second half. Huge. How much your team's that? Well, let me tell you, I've watched a lot of film on them, and when you turn it over, lay up because they really are good in the fast break situations. And so for us to, and we talked about that, transition defense, rebounding, 13 or less turnovers is what we needed for the game, what we finished with. I, the goal on the board was 13 or less. And because uh, if you turn it over on them, they're going to they're gonna capitalize on it. And uh, they've got a really good club. And, you know, I felt like we played hard. We had a great crowd today. Um, you know, we've got to continue to work on uh, being composed and having composure and being smart. Um, there's a lot of things we got to work on. Wingate had 19 in the first half and then three in the second. Was there some type of change in halftime that you made? Well, you yeah, you know, it's, here's what's great about our team right now. So we're in here as coaches. We talked about a lot of different scenarios, what to do with Wingate. She had 19. We talked about Kamisha putting Turner on her. Worried about him lobbing on her, you know, because of the size difference. But Kamisha's our best defender. We know that. Um, then we talked about going zone. Well, they shoot the ball pretty well. Here's the beautiful thing about our team. I go in the locker room, we start talking about things, and uh, Kamisha's like, Coach, put me on 25. And they had talked about it. So we were in here talking about his staff. They were in there talking about it, but we ended up talking about it together. And I said, okay, but here's the deal. If we put Kamisha on her, they're going to lob. And they did it that one time. They lobbed it. She went back door and they scored on it. So I looked at the rest of the team. I'm like, if we put Turner on her, you guys going to have her back? Because they're going to lob it, and you got you to be there. And they're like, we got her back. So again, I think because of our communication with each other, um, we're truly working together. And Turner had a great defensive half. At one point, the free throws were 37 to 16. Is that getting frustrating? Well, I think it's. Uh, it's a little bit, the way La Tech plays, they're going to draw fouls and they're going to go to the free throw line because they're so explosive and they're so aggressive at going to the basket. Um, you know, yeah, I would like for that to bend closer, but, you know, if we're better on the boards, maybe we get to the foul line more. I thought we were whining in the first half. That's one thing. I was upset with our team because we were whining to the officials and I told them at halftime, you know what, they're not going to give it to us. We've got to step up and we've got to play. Stop whining. And uh, let me talk to the officials. You guys focus on playing. In the second half, I thought we were much more focused, and, the, and they stopped doing that. But in the first half, we were whining. We can't whine. They're not going to give it to us. And rebounding, was that a pretty big difference in the game? It was huge. It was huge. You know, I, I think having Parker backs helped us with that, obviously. Um, <laughs> just got to keep working on it. Coach, uh, wins like this, you know, they show your grit. Um, what are you hoping you take from this one going uh, ahead against Marshall? Well, um, in the next few hours, I'm going to enjoy this win today. Um, tomorrow, our kids are going to have a day of rest. And then Monday, we'll be in the gym. And, and basically, what we're doing is we are completely focused on who we're playing and what the game plan is. We're not thinking about the past, and we're not thinking about the future. And I, I'm in that mode, and I really try to be in that mode, and I stay in that mode. When Even when I get questions asked about stuff about two weeks down the road, I always say, I don't know what you're talking about. I stay locked in, and then I really work hard to keep our kids locked in. And so, you know, Marshall beat us last year. Here we go. <laughs> Marshall beat us last year. Here we go. We were 12 and 16 last year. Here we go. At times, it looked like they were having a laugh. What are they usually doing? 
talk about the way they're high fiving themselves, the way they're celebrating. Our team's passionate. Our team's very passionate. They play with a lot of heart. I think um, when you have people like this in the stands and you've got a loud crowd, I mean, is this the most unique press conference ever? I mean, you know, this is history today. We've never had anyone at our game in a full-bodied orange suit. And I've never been sitting in a press conference in an orange sandwich like this. Like, I'm sandwiched with orange, but I always tell El Paso what? I bleed orange. And look at me. You know, I don't even know who these guys are, but they're, they're great to be here. And I think our players fed off. You know, I've been saying that we got to be outrageously what? Orange. Right? The video? Everybody, the video? Did you yeah, guys yeah, win? Yeah. Did yeah, you win? Yeah, we won. All right, we they saw. got the out. So we got it. El Paso's got to turn up. We got to get everybody in the orange mode. I want everybody packing the Haskins. I need more people like this that's looking crazy, bleeding orange. And let's keep this thing rolling. Now it's time to get the show on the road. What can you tell us about Marshall and Western Kentucky? I have not looked at them. <laughs> I don't look ahead. I've looked at La Tech for the last 24 hours. I can't tell you anything right now about Marshall because all I was worried about was La Tech. But you come see me on Monday, and I'll, I'll be able to tell you. Well, big ups to Wingate. She's she a very good player, and I, I knew my teammates had my back, and we play, play good team defense, and I pride myself on defense, and nothing else matters but that. Stopping her, we knew was the key, and my teammates had my back, but big ups to her. She's a good player. Did you, did you want that assignment the second half? I did. I asked Coach at halftime. She put a post on her. I was like, Coach, I was like, why don't you put a guard on her? She was like, what guard? I was like, number two, me. So, <laughs> but I knew my teammates were going to have my back, so it made it much easier for me to go out there and guard her with confidence. But again, she's a great player, and it was good team defense all around. Star, how did it be frustrating in the last that four minute stretch in the fourth quarter where nothing went down, but y'all were getting good looks? But how were you able to just kind of weather that and finish off? Uh, we just kept our heads up, you know. We just continued to play defense, and we just kept playing like, hey, a shot is going to go in, so we just kept playing defense. We got steals. We just locked down the last four minutes. At times, it looked like you guys were really enjoying the game. I mean, after certain shots, though, you're high five and jumping up and down. You can see the excitement that was in you. Was it that way out there? This is our last year. We got to enjoy each game. You know, each game is closer to, to our last collegiate game. So I try to go out there and I try to play with passion and just enjoy the game. It's been so good to us. So we got to go out there and we got to have fun. Like, we winning. We got to always remember to go out there and appreciate it. And I take nothing for granted. So you see a lot of smiles out there because that's what, that's what basketball is all about. We well, just talked about at one point the free throws were 37 to 16. How frustrating was that? How do you overcome it? Very frustrating. We just kept our heads up and kept attacking the basket. Eventually, we was going to get some fouls, Cole. How does a one like this affect your confidence going forward against Marshall? And we just got to keep pushing forward, and we just got to, you know, take from this game and get better. Each game, we got to move forward. We, we can enjoy this game tonight, and we got to look forward to Marshall again. They beat us last year. Payback tour continues. Kamish, was your favorite moment at the end of the third quarter, the assist to Tamara? Man, T, that's, it's a good shot for her. And she, she been having great practices, so I knew what the bucket meant for her. Not even me giving her the pass, but I just knew what the bucket meant for her, and it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a moment that I cherished. Right now, there's a tie at the top between you guys and Western Kentucky. How much would it mean to you guys to go undefeated with them also to that matchup next Saturday? Man, it'll mean a lot. Like I say, like Brett say, it just it helps us stay confident, us winning at home. And we got to take care of business on the road with these two road wins. And we'll just see. Western Kentucky got a good game. We just got to keep getting better and playing together. How big a win was this? It's a big win. I mean, every, every game is a big win, especially yeah. from last year, from going 12-16. And lastly, what does it mean to have uh, Krishan out there, 10 rebounds? Feel good. Finally got somebody out there that can, that we know for sure, for sure is going to rebound. Our whole team rebounds, but we know she's going to automatically get yeah. it. Just want to say one thing about CP. She's, she's just been so tough, you know, going through all the injuries. She could have easily just put her head down and gave up on us. And she just stayed fighting and getting better in the treatment room every every day, every even twice a day sometimes. So big ups to her for trying to get out there with us. And she knows she got our back, so that's big, big time.